Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Max Gunson. And today, I'll be sharing my talk with you guys dun sa accounting and business camp na kung saan na-invite akong mag-talk about my life as a UPD CBA student. Today is May 13th. It's actually my birthday. I'm turning 20 today. So ayun, ito yung trade ko sa inyo guys. Sa mga hindi nakapunta ng ABC or accounting and business camp, ayun, isi-share ko yung talk ko kasi na-record nila and may copy ako. So ayun, isi-share ko ngayon sa YouTube channel ko. Tinamad akong mag-record sa mismong camera ko. So kung may kita nyo meron sa baba, that's because sa PC ako nag-record. And ayun, diretso na siyang i-edit. So that's it for the introduction, short lang. And I hope you enjoy this video. And ito na yung ko sa inyo. Thank you, Jam and Leah. And good morning to everyone. I hope that you are having a nice day today. And today, um, I was invited to talk about my life as a UPCBA student. And I hope that after this talk, may mga matutunan kayo from me and my experiences as a business student. So, before anything else, let me introduce myself. My name is Max Gonzon. My preferred pronouns are he and they. I'm a Taurus Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Capricorn Rising. I was born on May 13, 2001. And my Myers Big Type is ENFJT, also known as the protagonist. I consider myself as a multipotentialite. That practically means na I am a jack of all trades. I like trying out new things. I have a lot of hobbies, so from photography to volleyball to YouTube to music. Pero yung main, main things talaga na ginagawa ko is yung YouTube and yung music ko. So I have a YouTube channel wherein I talk about my life as a college student. And doon ko rin pinupost yung mga songs ko and mga covers ko. And anything, any content na naiisip ko, doon ko pinupost. So currently, yung mga content ko, I'm talking about different degree programs in the Philippines. I invite guests. So, kung may mga, in, may mga tanong kayo about degree programs, usually doon ko sinasagot sa bago kong series. So, my social media is at Gwanzone. You can check that out later. Pero enough about me and let's talk about my journey as a student from being a STEM student up until now, a college student in the University of the Philippines, College of Business Administration. So today, I'm going to convince you to go to, a, to an ABM, a, ABM track. But bago ako mag-ABM, I was actually a STEM student. So gaya ng sinabi kanina, I studied junior high school in Makati Science High School. So like any, like any sci high student, pinagdaanan ko lahat ng mga hirap ng sci high students. So mahirap yung math, mahirap yung science, at syempre kailangan yung gumawa ng researches. So I have two researches researches here under my name and hindi ko na siya babasahin because reading them just gives me war flashbacks and <laughs> brings back the trauma. Pero ayan, yan yung mga researches ko. And yung pangalawa, I won awards for it. So as a science high school student, I did pretty well naman in my academics. I graduated with high honors. Pero yung things na na-enjoy ko talaga nung junior high school ay hindi science related. So here in the first picture, I'm dressed up as a Slytherin. It's, ano, it's during our book week and I was the president of the Book Lovers Club. And ayun, ako yung nag-host ng event namin. For the second one, I'm playing the piano. As I've said, I'm a musician and ito talaga yung passion ko and ito yung pinaka gusto kong ginagawa. For the third one, one of the highlights of my junior high school years, I won a pageant. And for the fourth one, it's me performing with my bandmates. So as you can see, I'm the typical Bibo kid who likes extracurricular activities and does everything from sports to music to campus journalism to hosting and other stuff like joining organizations and joining competitions. So dito ako napaisip na bakit kahit science high school student ako, bakit hindi ko na-enjoy yung mga STEM-related stuff katulad ng math, science, and yung research hindi ko rin siya na-enjoy. So na, na, napaisip ako na maybe STEM wasn't really for me. And doon ako nag-isip na kailangan kong lumipat ng school at kailangan kong lumipat ng strand. Kasi yung in-offer lang ng Maxi during that time and up until now ay STEM lang. So that's when I transferred to De La Salle University. So luckily for me, merong ABM yung La Salle and I got a scholarship under the ABM strand. So pinush ko na talaga kasi the opportunity is there. And I live in Manila, so it's nearer compared to my school in Makati. 
So under the ABM strand in De La Salle University, you can do two things. So merong entrepreneurship simulation and yung management research. Yung entrepreneurship simulation, basically you're gonna make your own business and i-operate nyo siya from, from registering the business. So may mga simulated na BAR, SEC, pati city government. At kailangan nyo i-register yung business nyo at mag-print ng mga permits, mag-print ng mga resibo. And i-operate nyo siya. So magbibenta talaga kayo. And after nyo kumita, magbabayad din kayo ng tax. So you're simulating what real businessmen are doing in the real world. So ito yung ginawa ng group namin. And as you can see, ito yung product namin na plant in a bag. It's basically succulents. And ginawa lang namin siyang parang pet. So may birth certificate and stuff. And yung other one naman na pwedeng gawin ay management research. So kung may mga research in STEM na science-related, in business naman, merong mga management researches. So these researches can be in the field of marketing, entrepreneurship, finance, and other fields of business. So yung, yung ginawa nga namin ay yung entrepreneurship simulation. So yung mga business subjects ko nung ABM ako ay Applied Econ, Entrep, Business Ethics and Social Responsibility, Fundamentals of ABM. This is just accounting, marketing, finance, orgman, pati business math. So for me, yung mga core subjects na to, ito yung nakatulong talaga sa akin na end na kakatulong talaga sa akin up until now. And ito yung mga subjects talaga na I can see the practicality of it na hanggang sa tumanda ako magagamit ko siya. So, kunyari yung sa accounting, if may business na ako and if I plan to operate it, I know how, I know basic accounting so I can apply it. And ganun din sa ibang mga subjects. So, like in Maxay, ang mga na-enjoy ko din nung senior high school ako, ay yung mga extracurricular activities at hindi yung main academics ko na ABM. So here, yung first picture, that's me graduating. And ayan yung award ko in music. The second one, it's me conducting. Itong third one, nanalo kami ng House Cup sa Sports Fest ng DLSU. And itong last naman, it's our second concert, yung Stellar. So dito, may kita nyo na yung mga na-enjoy ko talaga mga bagay ay hindi ABM related. So I was an ex sci high kid, business student who's into music, sports, and multimedia arts. Kasi nung senior high school, puro edit. At since YouTuber na nga ako ngayon, dun talaga nag-start yung passion ko for video editing, video production, and content creation. So this is one of the cons, I guess, of being a jack of all trades. Sobrang dami mong gustong gawin, sobrang dami mong gustong ginagawa. Na sometimes, you lose track of the things that are essential and yung mga important things talaga. Ito din yung panahon na set season is fast approaching. So pinag-iisipan ko na kung saan college ako, kung saan ko ba talaga gusto mag-aral, and ano yung gusto kong degree program na itik. So gaya ng sinabi ko, iba ba yung background ko na STEM, uh, sci-high student ako, and currently nasa ABM ako nung mga panahon na to. And yung mga passion and interest ko naman, music and multimedia arts. So inisip ko kung ano ba talaga ang gusto kong degree program for college. Dito rin napapaisip ako na ABM is not for me. Tapos, in the end, nag-apply pa rin ako sa business programs. And ang logic ko dyan is business programs are very flexible. And I can still do the things that I did nung senior high school kahit na business administration student na ako. So in the end, I still applied for business programs. And I still continued my career in ABM. So yung mga inapplyan ko ay... Ito sa big four. First, for Ateneo, I applied for management engineering. For UP, I applied for BAA. For La Salle, I applied for a double degree, accountancy and dev stud. And sa USC naman, actually, ang first choice na nilagay ko ay music. At yung second choice naman na nilagay ko ay accountancy. Besides those, I also applied for PUP and for CSB. So sa College of St. Benilde, ang inapplyan ko naman ay music production. So luckily for me, I passed all my first choice degree programs. And in the end, I chose UP Diliman. So Business Administration and Accountancy or BAA. So bakit nga ba BAA yung pinili ko? Ang pinili ko ay Business Administration and Accountancy because of five factors, I guess. Unang-una yung prestige. Um... Kung hindi nyo alam, yung BAA isa siya sa mga quota courses. And sabi nila double quota course pa nga siya kasi out of 10,000 na pumapasa, 
100 lang yata yung kinukuha. So there's this prestige to BAA and super laking privilege and opportunity na makapasok ako sa BAA. So I took it. Next is opportunity. After graduating, um, maraming mga opportunities for BAA students. Besides accountancy, you can continue law, you can be a CFA, and since business administration and accountancy nga siya, pwede ka rin sa ibang fields or aspects ng business such as finance and marketing. Third, yung challenge. So, kasi nung two years ko sa senior high school sa DLSU, ito talaga yung best years of my life kasi na-enjoy ko talaga yung mga ginagawa ko and I was with the right people at super saya lang talaga na experience ko. Kaya naman naisip ko na I'm being too complacent and I was already in my comfort zone. And kailangan ko lumabas ng comfort zone ko para mag-grow at ma-challenge. Pero nung na-challenge na ako ng UP, mangyak-ngyak na ako kasi <laughs> hindi siya ganun kadali. Pero ayun, I wanted the challenge. That's why I went to BA. Fourth, environment. Bata pa lang ako. Hindi naman super bata, pero mga high school. Gusto ko na talaga mag-aral sa UP Diliman. And nung pumasa ako sa UP Diliman, it was the obvious choice to go to BAA. And lastly, finances. Although na ako ako ng scholarship ulit sa DLSU in college, um, I don't want to reset kasi wala lang. Sa UP kasi automatic na libre. And wala akong maintaining grade. So I just decided to go with UP. So even before college, I had doubts about taking up an accountancy program. But I felt pressured to take it. So ito, feel ko yung iba sa inyo nararamdaman din to na nape-pressure either ng friends, ng family, or ng society into taking a certain degree program kahit hindi naman nila gusto. Um, madalas to sa accountancy kasi inisip ng marami na accountancy is a stable program, it's a stable career, and after ng, after mong graduate, sure na may trabaho ka. And although na medyo mababa ngayon sa audio simula, it's, it's a career that will continue to grow and will always be there. But in the end, I still I still went with it and nagpatuloy ako sa business administration and accountancy. So as a BA student, I studied in the University of the Philippines, Diliman, under the College of Business Administration. So under CBA, merong dalawang degree programs, yung oops, yung business administration and yung business administration and accountancy. So BA and BAA. Tapos meron akong mga orgs na sinalihan. Unang-una, yung UP Junior Philippine Institute of Accountants or UPJP. Second, yung UP Circle of Entrepreneurs, UPCE. And lately, ang pinaka-latest na sinalihan ko ay yung UP Music Circle. So, as a BA student, kasi pag freshman ka sa CBA, kailangan mo i-take yung tatlong subjects na to. Yung 99.1, 99.2, ano to? Accounting Fundamentals. And yung 101, ito naman yung introduction to business management. So regardless kung BA ka or BAA, kailangan mo tong itik. And I did pretty well in all of these subjects, particularly sa 99.1 and 99.2. So dito, napapaisip ako na maybe accounting is for me. Maybe I can survive BAA. Maybe I have a career in accounting at matututunan ko siyang mahalin. So as a CBA student, nung face-to-face pa, ito yung daily routine ko. I wake up, nag-condo kasi ako, Um, since taga Manila ako and alayo ng QC from my home. So, nag-condo ko. So, I wake up, take a bath, eat breakfast. Pwede ako maglakad or mag-tricycle to school. Depende kung late na ako. Tapos, sa araw-araw na ginawa ng Diyos, nagko-complain lang ako about morning classes since 7 a.m. siya or 8.30. And laging mat pa yon So, nakakabarda talaga sa umaga na may ganong kaagang klase and mat pa. So, after that, walk to next class, and then attend that class. Tapos repeat lang yon kung ilan yung classes ko sa morning. Sa UP, mapapalakad ka talaga kasi malayo yung mga buildings from each other. So, kailangan maglakad. So, during lunch time, kakain lang ako saglit. And either pupunta ako sa tambayan or dediretso na ako sa next class ko and attendan ko yung mga class ko. So, after class, pupunta ako sa TAMS or sa tambayan ng org. I'll explain that later. And kapag sports pa season naman or bakbakan season, as we call it in CBA, mayroong cheer dance practice sa hapon and sa gabi. So yeah, as a college student, I'm still living that Bibo Kid life. At ito yung mga org profile pictures ko. And honestly, these photos cannot capture the essence of the organizational culture of UP Diliman. So itong una, it's just a DP blast for recruitment. Ito ding pangalawa recruitment din. And ito naman, it's for one 
of our initiative sa UPJP ya yeah, to help the freshmen and the shifties to adjust to the BAA culture. And atong last, it's for Music Circle. At ang ginawa lang namin dito ay may online concert kami. So, college life, masaya siya nung face-to-face. So, ito, it's the essential pansit canton for every UP Dilman student. And ito namang pangalawa, lagi kami nagbibillards ng friends ko. Kapag may free time naman, and Itong third picture, it's our Christmas party and we were drinking college stuff. And itong, itong last picture naman, ito yung typical na typical na makikita nyo sa mga tambayan ng UP Diliman. So as, I, as I've said, yung tambayan, ito yung organizational headquarters ng mga organizations. And pwede kayo mag-play ng cards, pwede kayong gumawa ng homeworks, pero most likely di, ka, di kayo makakagawa ng homeworks doon kasi maingay. Pwede rin kayong makipag-chika na lang sa mga org mates nyo. And ang favorite moments ko talaga when I was in UP were the ones na kasama ko yung mga org mates ko and puro kalokohan lang yung ginagawa namin. Tulad ng mga nakikita nyo dito na parang pariwara ako kasi puro ko inom, puro ko billiards, and puro ko baraha. Pero it was fun and kinakaya ko naman academically. So besides that, ito yung picture sa bakbaka na you can see. I joined the cheer dance and ito namang nasa right na picture. This is our volleyball team and nalo kami ng championship in our first as first years. So, ayun, napapaisip ako na maybe I can survive BAA. Maybe I can learn to love it. At nakakuha ako ng momentum kasi I was getting good grades in my accountancy classes and in my majors practically. So, baka kaya ko naman as an accountancy student. So, pero lahat ng momentum na yun nawala because of COVID. So, lahat naging online, lahat ng lahat ng learnings, parang ang hirap na mag-aral, ang hirap na ding makikonect sa mga tao. And as an extrovert, kailangan ko talaga ng support system. And although my BA friends are still there, iba pa rin talaga kapag physical setting. And ayun, we did not sign up naman for an online university, pero it's what is only available to us right now. So the pandemic made learning accountancy really hard. Ang dami na nga nangyayari sa bansa. Tapos kailangan ko pa mag-aral ng accountancy. And accountancy kasi it's a practical subject. So kailangan mo talaga siyang ulit-ulitin. And kailangan ng, kailangan ng guidance from your professors. So this brings me to my shifting story. So as I've said, yung course ko or degree program ko nung freshman ako ay business administration and accountancy. So it was October 2000 and 2020 tapos tunit ko to na how it started versus how it's going kasi ito yung mga time na uso yung ganitong trend sa Twitter. So October 9 tunit ko to and ito yung ito yung content niya. Ito yung first picture. Ito yung tweet ko nung nalaman ko nakapasa ako sa UP and BAA pa. So ayan ang saya-saya ako pa. And then ito naman yung second picture na In-email ko yung prof ko na hindi ko na gusto yung accountancy and parang gusto ko mag-shift. Kasi kinabukasan, merong exam at parang hindi ko na gusto i-take. So ayun, in-email ko siya. At dito tinatanong niya ako na ano ba talaga yung interest ko and baka BAA is not for me. So ayan, October 10, ito yung araw ng exam. Tunit ko din to. So basically, mahilig ako mag-tweet. So lahat ng mga nangyari sa buhay ko, tunit-tweet ko. At ayan, tinit ko pa rin yung exam pero... Hindi ko na tinapos. Siguro mga 30 minutes pa lang out of 4 hours. Hindi ko na tinapos kasi hindi ko na masagutan. At ayun, sinabi ko na, ma'am, I'm sorry, I tried. Pero hindi ko talaga kayang mahalin yung BAA. Siguro intellectual, intellect-wise, kaya ko siya. Pero kapag di mo kasi gusto yung ginagawa mo, mahirap talaga siyang gawin. So dito, sinabi ko na lang na, I'm sorry, I tried. Nilagay ko to sa, sa solution sheet ko kasi may solution sheet na pinapasa. So, ito yung nilagay ko. And, ayun, vlinag ko rin siya. So, kung gusto nyo panoorin, nandito siya sa YouTube channel ko. So, here are the reasons why I left BAA. First is mental health. Super anxious ko niyan. And, hindi na rin ako masaya. So, I just decided to leave. Next is change of heart. Hindi naman talaga siya change of heart. Kasi, in the first place, hindi ko naman talaga gusto yung accountancy. And, sinusubukan ko lang siyang mahalin. Third is personality misfit. As I've said, I'm a multi-potentialite and I like exploring things. And ayoko na papako lang sa isang bagay. 
And accountancy needs a lot of your time and effort and attention. So most likely than not, mapapako ka talaga sa accountancy. And career choice, I don't see myself as an accountant in the future. And a lot of realizations about myself too. So here are the things that you should know about BAA. So disclaimer lang na hindi ko ito sinasabi sa inyo para takutin kayo na wag na kayo mag-accountancy. Accountancy is a good career choice. Accountancy is very stable. And there's a certain finesse to it na kailangan talaga. And I appreciate it as a career choice. It's just not for me. So first, it's hard but not impossible. Madali lang siya kung mahal mo talaga. It's time-consuming pero doable naman siya. It requires both hard work and intelligence. So kung isip nyo nung high school kayo, magaling kayo sa accounting, you need more than just that. Kailangan nyo din ng hard work. It's stringent and disciplined. It's worth is what you make of it. May mga nagsasabi na worth it daw accountancy. May mga nagsasabi naman na hindi. Pero in the end, kayo pa rin yung gagawa ng worth na yon. And next, it's still accountancy regardless of the business ad title. So kahit na business ad and accountancy siya, it's still an accountancy centered degree program. And lastly, you don't have to fear it. Feel ko ito yung pinaka-mistake ko na takot na takot ako mag accountancy. So in the end, naging self-fulfilling prophecy siya na I failed. So at this point in time, napapaisip ako sa mga life choices ko. And bakit nga ba tinuloy ko pa rin yung accountancy even though na I know that I'll fail in the end kasi hindi ko naman talaga gusto. So that's when I decided to shift to business administration or BA. So luckily for me, sa loob lang ng college yung gusto kong degree program at madali lang ako nakapag-shift. And hindi rin ako madedelay kasi same lang yung subjects na tinake namin nung first year. So as a BA student, now I have more time. I have more flexibility and versatility kasi you can choose the aspect of the business that you want and focus there. And iba-iba din yung mga tinuturo sa inyo from organizational behavior, from finance to marketing and other aspects of the business. And that's a good thing for me as I've said na I want exploring different things and various things and ayaw kong napapako lang sa isang bagay. I have more creative freedom kasi maraming presentations in BA compared to BAA. And lastly, I have control of the subjects and the career path that, that, that I want because sa curriculum ng UP, pwede kang mamili ng mga electives na itatake mo in your third year and in your fourth year. And yung electives na yun, pwedeng finance, marketing, and other aspects of the business. So as a BA student, Um, pandemic lang ako naging BA student. So, ito yung daily routine ko. I wake up, eat breakfast, go to synchronous classes kapag kailangan. Sa hapon, I play volleyball and I have time to record videos, edit videos, do my online job, record my music, do deliverables. So, ito yung mga homeworks and exercises. And ito, this takes up most of my academic time yung doing group works. Kasi maraming mga group works in BA at maraming mga case analysis. So, kailangan yung mag-work together at kailangan nyo gumawa ng maraming case analysis for different aspects of the business. So, as you can see, I was a STEM student. I could have been uh, an art student. Pero, ayun, I decided to pursue business. So, what did I learn from being in two business courses? It's that accountancy, business and management or ABM is very stable. So, kapag pag-graduate nyo, sure na merong opportunity for you. It's also very flexible. So ay nga, gaya ng paulit-ulit kong sinasabi, you can pursue different aspects of the business. And kung gusto niyo naman mag-focus sa isa, that's also possible. So kung gusto niyo mag maging accountant, ayun, you can be an accountant. Next is, it's also profitable. In the long run, yung career nyo, it will be stable and magiging profitable din siya. It can be creative. Kasi sa case analysis, kailangan nyo mag-isip. Kailangan nyo mag-isip ng mga ways para masolve yung mga problems. And may mga presentation din. So, kailangan nyo din itake yung attention ng professor nyo and ng classmates nyo in presenting. It can be innovative. Most of the technology that we have today won't be around without businesses and without enterprises creating different products, goods, and services. And lastly, although we know na we live in a capitalist society and we know the effects of capitalism on the environment and on us humans, it's very exploitative. ABM is not inherently bad, in my opinion. It can be passionate. It can be advocative of different causes and different passions. So kung may mga passion kayo, for example, me, I have a passion for music. So I can use business for that. 
or if may mga advocacy kayo kunyari ako kasi mga advocacy ko more on creative related na um giving more value to the arts so yeah i can use that for my passion so here i here are my tips kung magiging abm students kayo or kung magpo-pursue kayo ng business courses pagdating sa college so unang una join organizations organizations are a good way to communicate with like-minded people and to hone your skills kasi may mga internships in organizations in my organizations lagi kong lagi kong mga roles ay pag-edit ng mga pubs and videos so dun talaga ako nahasa mag-edit at gumawa ng mga videos for my YouTube channel second is to have a hobby kasi kailangan yung ng something na pagtutuunan nyo ng pansin at may enjoy nyo at the same time kasi hindi pwedeng puro aral lang and it's good having a hobby kasi pwede nyo i-apply yung mga matututunan nyo from your business subjects to your hobby so ako I'm using my business courses in my YouTube channel and in creating my music by properly marketing it and by ayun tinitignan ko yung revenues and yung mga analytics so na-apply ko yung mga natutunan ko third is to join conventions Congratulations kasi nagawa niyo na isa sa mga tips ko. So, eto, you're joining a convention. So, this is a taste of UP Diliman's CBA's culture. Lahat ng organizations sa UP CBA, tinatawag siyang business league. So, ito yung mga organizations na focus sa business. At yung home college nila ay yung College of Business Administration. So, lahat sila merong mga conventions. Depende kung ano yung specialty nila. So, for example, for JPA. We have asset, so it's accountancy related. For call, I for circle of entrepreneurs, we have yet young entrepreneurs convention. For JMA, my marketing education convention yata sila. For JFA, merong finance convention. So ayon, pwede ka yung magjoin na mga conventions. At usually open sa to non UP students. Lalong lalo na ngayong pandemic, everything was online and mostly free. You free of charge sa to mga conventions nato. So yon, join conventions. Next is to follow business league organization social media pages to know about their events. So hindi naman masamang mag-follow or mag-like ng mga pages para makita niyo yung mga events ng BL orgs. Kasi dun talaga yung main line of communication para makita niyo yung mga events namin. Fifth is to join case competitions. You learn and earn a lot. Kapag nanalo kayo, of course, may mga prize money. And kundi naman, at least you have the experience. And magiging handa na rin kayo for your college life since maraming since maraming case competitions dito sa business degree programs. Next is to go to parties or inumans and to network. Medyo medyo problematic tong advice na to kasi ay nga bisyo siya and hindi maganda kapag masyado kayong umiinom or masyado kayong nagpa-party pero Parties are a good way to network, to connect with friends, and to form connections and relationships that you can use in the future. Mas okay na mas marami kayong kilala. And right now, I'm sowing this. Um, I'm sowing this seed because nung nung senior high school ako, marami ako mga kaklase and marami din ako friends. Up until now ngayong college, and coming from three different schools ng high school and college, marami talaga ako na kilala and. Ayun, lagi ko silang ginagest in my YouTube channel wherein they share their stories and their share, they share their experiences in their degree program. And it just gives you different perspectives na hindi lang business talaga. Next is to look for internships. So dito hinuhaw niyo yung skills niyo at marami din kayong matutunan. And maganda sana kung paid internship para hindi siya exploitative and kikita rin kayo ng pera. Next is to make your resume. Now it doesn't have to be a good resume, talaga na maganda yung design and punong puno. You just have to list down yung mga things na naachieve nyo. First, it puts thing it put things into perspective, kasi nakita nyo yung progress nyo. Second, hindi nyo magkalimutan yung mga nagawa nyo kapag kailangan nyo na talaga ng gumawa ng resume. And lastly, for my tips, is to know which peer pressure is good and which is bad. So as a business student. Ito yung lagi kong struggle kasi marami akong nakikitang mga batch batchmates ko and mga schoolmates ko na ang daming napapanalo ng competitions, laging nasa case competitions, laging nasa conventions, tapos yung iba nagsa-stocks na may sarili ng business. And dito pumapasok yung peer pressure. So good peer pressure will push you to go out of your comfort zone and do good things. And bad peer pressure naman will discourage you. So alamin niyo lang kung ano yung magandang peer pressure at huwag kayong magpa-apekto sa peer pressure na hindi maganda. 
lalong-lalo na kung madi-discourage ka lang at mapapashift ka ng ibang degree program or ng ibang ng ibang career. So sa business naman, you don't have hindi mo kailangan sabayan lahat, pero kailangan mo maging adaptive at kailangan kailangan mo maging innovative at kailangan mo i-reinvent yung sarili mo every now and then. So here are some resources here are some resources for you guys. So nasa YouTube channel ko tong first video. It's called UP's Business Courses. So dito, kasama ko yung mga friends ko from senior high school. Business students din sila. So ayun nga, guys, sinabi ko, kapag may network kayo, marami kayong makikilala from different fields and different degree programs. So dito, we talk about me. is for BAA. Tapos si, si Jade, si Justin Doherty, she talks about BA. Si Shira, she talks about economics. And si Raf naman, he talks about Business economics. Meron pa isang business course in UP. Kinoconsider siyang business course. Pero sa engineering siya, that's in industrial engineering. Pero that's for a future video na lang, I guess. Next, if you want to take senior high school, ABM in DLSU, meron din akong video about it. And you can go in my YouTube channel. Search nyo na lang DLSU SHS, tas yung name ko. And ayun, dito pinag-uusapan ko kung yung ACADS life and yung org life din sa Lasal. Honestly, I had the best time in DLSU and ipapromote ko na rin siya as a senior high school kasi organized sila at yung mga professors din galing sa College of Business ng Lasal. So, it's high quality education talaga. So, in the end, why should you choose ABM? So, sa ABM kasi you don't have to cage yourself and you can be anything you want. So, last pictures of me na. I talk about myself a lot. Pero ayun, dito sa first pic, It's a thumbnail from my YouTube channel. So I can be a YouTuber. I can play volleyball. Itong third pick, it's for my music. And ito namang last pick, it's for my organization sa UPJP. So you can be anything. And although hindi pa ako graduate or wala pa talaga ako sa real life, corporate world, or sa business world, I can assure you that right now, in college pa lang, I'm having fun and I'm learning a lot. And I think na I have a bright future ahead in ABM. So here are some of the career choices. And that's it for me, I guess. Thank you so much for listening to my talk. Ayan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Max, for that inspiring glimpse of college life. As in na, ang haba ng journey na tinahak ha, from science high school to ABM, then BAA student, then BA. Sobrang daming learnings today, di ba, Jam? Yes, I can super relate with Max because I was also um, a science high school student and then I transferred to ABM. And you know, all of the things he talked about is really the reality of, of, of what you can experience in CBA and um, no sugar coating yun, di ba? Parang mas maganda na, na ngayon malaman natin what they can expect with CBA. And with that, I believe it's now time for the question and answer portion. Again, if you wish to ask a question, you may use the raise hand function and we shall call your name. Once we do, please unmute yourself to ask your question. But for those who wish to ask anonymously, you may send in your questions through the Slido code flashed on the screen. I believe marami nang nagtanong eh kanina, Leah. Very excited sila sa talk kanina ni Max talaga eh. Pati ako eh, parang may gusto akong tanongin eh. <laughs> ako nga rin, pero syempre sila muna. <laughs> uh -oh. Ayan, may nag-raise hand. Let's okay. ask Justin naman kung ano yung question ni Justin. Please unmute, Justin. Hi, Justin. Hello, good morning po. Good morning. Uh, yeah, I have a question for Max lang po. Ah, uh, As a STEM student in high school, what are some strengths and weaknesses you had that you learned from high school or you experienced during high school that helped you or somewhat did help you in college naman in a business-related course? Hmm. Siguro hindi talaga STEM-related, pero yung culture kasi ng science high schools, it's very stringent. So up until now, kinak um super strict talaga and super kailangan disciplined ka. So I guess yung discipline talaga yung natutunan ko from science high schools. Although, uh, marami kasing advanced subjects din in science high schools. And sa UP naman, hindi lang naman majors yung meron ka. Hindi lang naman business yung meron ka. Meron ka ding mga math and meron ka ding mga GEs. So, yung mga natutunan ko nung senior high school and nung junior high school, na-apply ko siya sa 
mga subjects ko. And for, I guess, sa, sa science high school kasi mahirap yung math, di ba? So, ayun, meron, meron akong edge sa math pagdating sa math 20 and math 21. Ah, oh, wait, sorry. Yung math 20, that's pre-calculus. And yung math 20 naman, math 21 naman, it's calculus. So, ayun, I guess the lessons were easier for me coming from a science, science high school. In terms of weaknesses naman, if you guys are worried na hindi nyo masasabayan yung mga kabatch nyo since galing kayong STEM, tas papasok kayo sa BA or BAA, actually, mas may edge pa nga kayo sa kanila since you don't have to take Math 20 and pwede na kayong dumiretso ng Math 21. And um, analytically, I think mas, mas sound yung mga STEM students in general. Ha? Pero ayun, hindi talaga kayo Hindi, hindi nyo kailangan mag-worry. And in terms of accountancy naman, sabay, i, so, so, um, ano ba? Uulitin naman siya from the start. So you don't have to worry. I hope that answered your question. All right, We have another uh, delegate who raised her hand. We have Lara Fe Christy. Hi, Lara Fe. Um, good morning po. Good morning. Good morning. Tatanungin ko lang po kasi parang same po tayo ng mga activities na ginagawa. Like engaged din po ako sa music, mm. tapos nagbablog din po ako and as well as nagsiserve din po ako sa parish namin. So parang yung extracurricular life ko po is very active din. Mm. Pero yung inapplyan ko pong um, program sa UP is BAA. So ano po kaya yung mga possible tips nyo pa para po mamultitask po yung BAA as well as dun sa mga extracurricular activities na ginagawa ko na po? Hmm, okay. Um, time management lang talaga. Medyo cliche itong sagot ko, pero time management. And gawin mo na agad yung mga kailangan mong gawin para may time ka for your extracurricular activities. Ganun kasi akong klaseng student na kapag may binigay, kahit na two months pa yung deadline na yan, ginagawa ko na talaga siya agad para I have more time to to do stuff for myself. And ito din pala, um, integrate your academics into your extracurricular. So kunyari, me... I post stuff in my YouTube na academic related. So kunyari mag-aaral lang ako ganyan. Tapos gusto kong tumiga ng onte. Bibidyohan ko lang yung sarili ko habang nag-aaral. So that's sitting two birds with one stone. Nag-aaral ka na and at the same time, nag- nagagawa mo rin yung mga extracurricular activities na gusto mo. Okay. Okay, we have one last panel, Lia. Na naka Okay, so we have here Ryan Chester de la Cruz. You can now unmute to ask your question. Hello po, good morning po. Meron po ba kayo advice sa mga students na hindi pa rin po certain so, an- sa mga anong course po na kukuli nila? Okay. Uh, my advice for you is to take, eto ano to, solid advice, concrete advice talaga siya, is to take BA. Kasi in BA, um, sure ka na may safety net ka pag, pagka-graduate mo ng college. And ayun nga, it tackles different aspects of the business. And most likely in two years naman kapag nasa college ka na, alam mo na kung anong aspect ng business yung gusto mo. Right now, ang gusto kong aspect ng business is marketing. And kapag third year and fourth year na ako, I can take marketing subjects. And sa second year nyo naman, lahat ng aspects ng business matataka nyo. So from finance, marketing, human human resources, ganyan. May mga subjects na by second year. And by third year, feel ko, alam mo na kung ano yung gusto mo. So yan, take BA. Thank you for the question and the answer. Ay, ayan, next natin, naka-raise hand, I see Miss Maxine Chua. Uh, What's your question, Miss Maxine? Can you hear me? Yes. Um. So I asked this in Slido, but I wanted it to be direct na po agad. So okay. um, does the strand you take up in senior high school not necessarily define what course best suits you in college? Kasi po, in one of the dream universities I applied to, I want, I'm want i taking up a course na hindi naman po siya talagang fully on, on ABM related. It has mostly Hume's um, qualities in it. Pero ano po siya? Pwede rin po siya sa ABM dahil you can learn more about negotiation, um, socioeconomic uh, lessons, parang ganun pa. So does it mm. actually define what course is best for you if you're choosing a certain strand in senior high school? Um, It depends. Kasi may mga colleges and universities na tumatanggap lang from a certain strand. Kunyari, um, yung accountancy program nila for ABM students lang talaga. So that might hinder you in 
kasi hindi ka makakapag-accountancy kung hindi ka ABM student. Pero um, sa big four universities, wala namang ganung rule. So from, for all I know, ah, walang ganung rule na kailangan from a certain strand ka. So to answer your question, in general, no, your strand won't define your college degree program. Thank you, Pa. Thank you. All right, so maybe we can move on with the questions sent in anonymously through Slido. So okay. first, Max, may fan ka na. Not a question, pero always thank you po for sharing your story. Super great po, grateful po for your sharing and ang brave nyo daw. Thank you. <laughs> yes, may fan na. Click the noti- yeah, notification yeah. button. <laughs> okay, so merong question dito. I'm still confused. Po, what's the difference between BAA and BSA? Is BAA applicable to take Sipale or BSA po talaga siya? Thank you so much po. Okay, so this is actually a question na laging lumalabas sa comment section ng YouTube channel ko. And to answer your question, um, mas maraming, I guess, management, management courses sa BAA, management subjects in BAA compared to BSA. Pero in the end, Yes, both of these courses, BSA and BAA, kailangan mag-take ng Sipale to be an, a CPA, a Certified Public Accountant. And ang meron lang sa UP ay BAA. Wala kaming BSA. Ayan. We hope that answers your question sa ating anonymous na nagsend ng question. Mm. Our next question here, Max, is is it important daw ba na we have a circle of friends po in college? Ayan, medyo oh. nag-date tayo sa ACADS. Okay. Tinatanong kung mahalaga ba yung circle of friends sa college. Yes, kailangan nyo ng circle of friends. At yung circle of friends ko na hanap ko in my course na BA dati. Pero sila pa rin yung friends ko up until now. And yep, join organizations kasi dun nyo talaga makikita yung people nyo. So yes, kailangan siya for your support system and to remain sane. Pero you don't have to join organizations if that's another question on your mind. Pero ayun nga, I'm encouraging you to join organizations kahit na introverted kayo kasi it's a good way to hone your skills and to connect with other people. Alright. Meron pang isa dito. Paano nyo po nalalaman pag yung course na ito ay sure na para sa inyo na like ito na po yung pinakagusto nyo, final na, parang ganun. <laughs> okay. I think wala talagang ano eh, wala talagang perfect degree program for me eh. as someone who's a jack of all trades. Pero I guess nalaman ko na gusto ko na talaga yung BA kasi gusto ko yung mga natututunan ko and hindi siya hindi, hindi ako nakaramdam ng pagod na parang emotional na pagod na ayoko na ganyan. Siguro physical na pagod and yung kung emotional na pagod man it's because of the online classes not necessarily of the subjects. And ayun nga I think perfect sa akin yung BA kasi ang dami kong gustong gawin at ayun. Ayan. Thank you for answering the question. Ito naman, Max. Kina-challenge ka ang mga bata. Kasi sabi dito, how do you cope up with procrastination po? Um, siguro, ano talaga, eh, habit talaga na ano eh. Sinisimulan ko na talaga agad yung mga kailangan gawin eh. Pero kung, um, paano ba? Procrastination. Okay, may tinatawag akong productive procrastination. So, sa productive procrastination, kapag ayaw mo pang gawin yung isang bagay, gumawa ka na lang ng isa pang bagay na gusto mong gawin or passionate ka about. So, kunyari, kapag di ko pa, di ko pa gusto gawin yung ACADS ko, gagawin ko na lang muna yung, yung YouTube, chi- YouTube series ko or siguro may deadline ako for my music. So, ayun. Practice productive procrastination and gumawa kayo ng ibang bagay na hindi kasing heavy nung kailangan yung gawin. Okay. So, thank you, Max, for that. Meron pa, um, during a pandemic, how can we maximize our resources and how can we get new experiences? Hmm, relevant. Okay. So, yung mga tips ko nga na join conventions, join organizations, ayun yung mga experiences na hindi, hindi pwedeng mawala sa isang business student kasi we thrive in this ano eh, in this in this setup na we net we network and we we do jobs we do internships so ayun sumali kayo sa mga ganong events tapos 
Wait lang. In terms of pandemic naman, parang siguro kailangan niyo talagang mag-effort na kumunek sa ibang tao. And ayun. Ayun, maraming salamat, Max. Sobrang daming tanong talaga sa'yo, Max. Parang di tayo mauubusan today. Ito na ang ating next question. <laughs> are there still accountancy subjects in BA po? And are there as much group works in BAA as in BA po? Okay. So for for BA, merong management accounting. It's easier than your typical accounting subjects sa BAA. Tapos sa BAA, medyo marami ding group works, lalo na sa mga earlier years. Pero in the long run, mas kailangan nyo ng individual practice. So less group works, I guess, in BAA compared to BA. Okay, meron pa tayong question dito, Max. Grade 12 ka po nag-transfer to Lasal. May I ask, what is the difference of the Lasalian culture versus the UP culture? Okay. Um, grade 11 ako nag-transfer to DLSU. So my entire senior high school life, I was in DLSU. Um, UP versus Lasal, I guess sa Lasal, mas chill yung mga tao. And mas chill din yung akads ko noong mga panahon na yun. Pero siguro dahil senior high school ako nun. Pero sa UP naman, mas gusto ko yung organizational culture. Kasi in Lasal, I mean, not to trash talk them, pero yung org culture nila, most likely magbabay ka ng membership fee and part ka na ng org ganyan and pwede kayong sumali sa mga events nila. Pero in UP, kailangan mo talagang mag-internship sa organization. You need to work, you need to connect with your org mates. And ayun, sa UP, mas mabilis lahat ng bagay. Although sa Lasal, trimestral siya. So yung ACADS, mas mabilis sa Lasal. Pero sa UP, mas pass face lahat. And yeah, I guess there's that. Siguro future video idea na lang yan. Okay, thank you, Max. So super counting questions na lang talaga. And this next question is parang super vital for their college life talaga. So sabi dito, where do you recommend to find paid or not not paid internships po. Um, can you just apply for internships or do you need the university's approval pa? And um, are there groups or organizations na nagbibigay daw ng, or nag, um, nagpo-post about available internships or do you have to find them yourself? Okay, so gaya ng sinabi ko, you have to follow different organizations. So, so yun nga, yung business league organizations, um, Part yan, ng, part yan ng mandate natin as business students of UP. So may mga orgs minsan na nagpo-post ng, part, ay, ng internship opportunities. Pero kadalasan kasi itong mga internship opportunities, sino-open lang siya sa member ng orgs. So that's why I'm telling you guys to join organizations. Kasi dun talaga lumalabas yung mga internship opportunities. Tapos yung internship naman, no, you don't need UP's approval. So kung gusto nyo, kung gusto nyo mag-internship kahit saan, kahit Kahit kailan, go lang. Hindi nyo kailangan ng approval ng UP. Sino ba sila? <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, Max, I have a personal question. So you uh, you told us earlier that you shifted out of BAA. Hmm. Um, but given a chance, um, uh, in your first year, would you still take up BAA if you would go back to that time? Na you would uh. change your <laughs> Okay. Siguro yung first year kasi same subjects lang talaga yung BAA tsaka BA. So it won't matter. Pero yung first sem, second year first sem, yun talaga yung crucial. Kasi dun mo malalaman kung you're made for BAA or BA. If given the chance, I should have shifted before second year pa lang. Kasi pride, pride ko na lang yung ano eh. Pride ko na lang yung nagpa-stay sa akin sa BAA na kaya ko to, magaling ako, ganyan. Pero in the end, in, it backfired. Kasi isang sem din yung nasayang. So... Dapat natay ko na yung ibang BA classes. So, if given the chance, yes, I will have shifted agad sa BA. And no, di na dapat ako nag-BA. Okay. Ayan. Relate ako dun sa answer ni Max. As a, <laughs> nag-shift dun from BA to BA. Pero, ayan nga, parang marami ring ibang students dito who have um, talent also in arts and music. So, baka... Gusto mo ring i-promote kung paano mo ginagawa yung mga music mo, yung songs mo. Kasi ang dami mo originals. 
Um, okay, so I guess pa- pag-usapan na lang natin kung paano ko nagagamit yung BA in my YouTube and in my music. So, I guess yung craft kasi, pwede namang i-pulse yan kahit wala kang formal college education. So, kahit hindi ka mag, hindi ka mag fine arts, hindi ka mag music. Although, it's a plus, you can still pursue this these passions. And alam naman natin sa Pilipinas na sobrang undervalued ng arts and ng music and ng, ng similar career choices. Kaya for me, ang binili ko talaga is yung business ad para may safety net ako. Although, if given the chance and if I'm privileged enough, I would have gone another degree program. Pero ayun nga, BA is a good degree program. If you still want to pursue these passions while still, I guess, pursuing a college degree program na profitable, stable, and flexible in the long run. Okay, we have a very interesting question here. Ah. There's this notion that business courses are more appropriate for those with family businesses. How would you respond to this? Mm, um, personally, kami, wala naman kami family business. So, hindi naman kailangan ng family business para maging business administration major. So, kung kung gusto niyo lang talaga pumasok sa corporate world, actually kahit hindi nga sa corporate world eh, if you want to if you want to manage your own passion project or business or social enter- social enterprise in the future, pwede kayong mag business administration. So no um although mas marami ngang may family business na nagbi-BA, hindi siya hindi siya requirement and kung gusto niyo talaga mag business, hindi niyo kailangan magpa-apekto sa peer pressure from your peers or from your batchmates sa my family businesses. Ayun, thank you, Max. So, ito naman parang kailangang marinig ng lahat. What is your advice for students who may not excel in college as well as they did in high school? Same. <laughs> Yung lang masasabi ko, same. Um, paano ba? Siguro, ano lang, know the right, know your, ano, know your, motivations. Dapat tama yung mindset mo. And eto eto na lang isipin mo. Wala ka naman sa college para makakuha ng matataas na grades eh. Although that's a plus, your grades don't define you unless mataas. Joke lang. <laughs> Pero know your mat- know your motivations and ang motivation mo talaga kapag nasa college ka is matuto ka. Kailangan mong matuto at hindi mo kailangan ng mataas na grades. Although that's a plus. Pero ang main motivation talaga is matuto ka. So okay lang yan if you don't do as well. Hindi naman race ang buhay and hindi naman pataasan ng grades. Um honestly ako super grade conscious ko din pero looking back at it now like yung mga grades ko nung junior high school and in, nung senior high school does it matter now? No it doesn't. So ayun, just try to do well, wag lang kayo magpabaya and even if hindi kayo if, even if hindi kayo mag-excel as long as you did your part and you tried may future kayo in in the real, real world I guess. Ang ganda nun, Max. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Super okay. inspiring. Oo. Ito, meron tayong um, medyo on the technicality side naman. Magiging ireg ka po ba if ever na mag-shift ka ng course? I'm planning to take BSA but I already think um, but I'm already thinking of shifting to BSMA or BSBA marketing. Um, Depende sa ano? Depende sa university. I can only attest to UP. Um depend tsaka feel ko depende rin sa time. Kung maaga pa I guess hindi ka magiging irregular pero kung later siguro feel ko mas more chances of being an irreg. Pero ako irreg ako ngayon. I still have my friends naman and hindi naman totoo yung stereotype na malungkot buhay mo. Actually, mas marami kang kaibigan kapag ano eh, kapag irreg ka kasi different different people yung namimit mo. And nung nung first year ko kasi naka-block ako. So sila sila lang din na nakakasalungo ako. And nung naging irag ako, doon ako mas marami nakilala. So, being irag is not really a bad thing. Ayun, oo. Tama nga naman yun. Ang dami-dami mo talaga ng people na pamimit in college. So, ang dilemma naman ng ating next na nagtanong, I passed UST and BLSU already and I'm aiming for UB too. So, what college would be the right choice in terms of healthy workload and environment? Health <laughs> Ang sama, pero as a UP student and as a former Lasallian, feel ko go for Lasall. Pero... Take it from him na. 
<laughs> um, siguro ang best selling point talaga ng UP is yung culture. And syempre, it's UP. UP is UP. And yung old culture talaga and yung networking, mas okay sa UP. Pero akads wise and yung workload and student friendly, feel ko lasal. Okay. For UST naman, ewan ko, I don't like UST. So, <laughs> pass. <laughs> Ayan. Thank you so much, Max, for answering our questions. Napakadaming questions ng mga bata. Bibang biba sila today. So, I'm sure our participants learned even more things from you after this Q&A portion. <laughs>